Shalom, and welcome to another installment of Apostles of GMS giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, we're live streaming as of right now, and I said that in the video that I did last night. I didn't say which uh, uh, YouTube uh, account we were going to be on, but you know, obviously we're on uh, a GMS uh, Doc YouTube, and today's uh, topic is entitled um, Apostles of GMS Live. Uh, the Gentiles versus the Gentiles. Somebody keeps putting in Gentile versus Gentile. It's the Gentile, my title is the Gentiles versus the Gentiles, but that's all right. Um, the mystery of the Gentiles. And we're going to go into, because this is an ongoing series on the Gentiles, whether the, whether the natural Gentiles can actually be saved or whether they are part of, uh, they are part of, uh, uh, the, the salvation that the nation of Israel is going to receive. And we're going to, and we're going to go into, we're going to go into, um, you know, this whole thing with, uh, uh, Alpha and Omega ministries, um, with, uh, James, uh, white and, um, vocal Malone, which I used to call him, uh, 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 what's his name was uh, Shia, Shia LaBeouf. Cause that's what he looked like. But anyway, they did a couple of videos, you know, really confronting the nation of Israel, which they call us the black Hebrew Israelites. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're, we're Israelites, all right? We believe that we're the men of the Lord, the prophets of the Lord. Anytime before a kingdom went down, the Most High set up his prophets to prophesy the downfall of that system. And, and we believe that we are those prophets uh, that, that set up to, uh, you know, prophesy the downfall of this current system, which is Babylon the Great, found in the book of Revelation, all right? Um, a lot of you guys say Revelations, and uh, James White was right when he said it's Revelation, not Revelations, which he's right, all right? Yeah. But anyway, um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go into a lot of things, but the focal point is going to be on the Gentiles, unless the Spirit leads us uh, somewhere else but we wanted to try to stay on that focal point of the gentiles the gentiles versus the gentiles um what else do i want to say you got anything to say come on mind it's a blank yeah because oh well pretty much you know this topic is is is, is a vast topic that's why you really can't it's capture and it's just for the big dogs and you can't capture it on in in one sitting you know because there's so much uh it uh to it you know, because the world teaches that the Gentiles are talking about all nations, but really the the, the Gentiles that that is speaking of in the in the uh, New Testament and in the Old Testament, when you when you hit it in the right context, are the Israelite foreigners, and you have the uh, natural Gentiles. You know, so you have to just know what the context is saying to understand who it's speaking of, and and the, and the Most High has to be the one that's opening up up uh, uh opening up your mind you know to uh be able to receive it you know because now when you go back to the beginning you had what was known as the fathers of the promise you know you had abraham you had isaac and you had jacob now the most high made a a, a, a covenant with abraham matter of fact i'll read that real quick this is the book of genesis the 12th chapter and just based off of this promise that the most high made to abraham proves that that all nations cannot be saved and i'm i'm, I'm explaining what i mean by that genesis 12 and 1 now the lord yahweh had said unto abram get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred because he was an heir of the chaldees right and from thy father's house unto a land that i will show thee and i will make of thee a great nation and i will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that cursed thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Why? Because it says, and I will make of thee a great nation. Now, when you look back in uh, uh, at, at the lineage, 
Abraham came out of who? He came out of the line of Shem. He didn't come out of the line of uh, Japheth. He didn't come out of the line of Ham. So the Lord, and then, and then the, he came out of the line of Arphaxad, which was one of the sons of Shem. So all those other nations that came out of uh, Japheth, that came out of Ham, and that came out of Shem, you know, they, they have no part in it because it, it was uh, supposed to come through Abraham's line. You know? I'll read it again. It says, it says, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. So now did all these other nations come out of Abraham's loins? No, because Abraham only had eight seeds. The eight seeds that he had was Ishmael, which was the firstborn, Isaac, which was the secondborn, and he had six sons uh, by Keturah, which make eight altogether. And then out of Isaac, you had Jacob and Esau, you know, so on and so forth. So... It says, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now, why is that written? Well, when you go back, the, the promise was to who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It said that in thee all nations shall be blessed, right? Now, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Because this was a curse that was to befall the nation of Israel for not following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord which was the thing that separated us from these other nations, right? It says, And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. So the Lord said that part of the curse is going to be that the Israelites were going to be scattered among all nations. So that's how the Lord said that, that uh, Abraham... In thee shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Why? Because in all nations of the earth right now, you have Israelites that were scattered from all them different nations um, uh, under whom we went into captivity. And it's, and it's just that plain. And it's just that simple. You know, that's why, like I said, I'll read that again in Genesis 12. Um, it says, verse 3, Genesis 12 and 3. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that cursed thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Now, when the Lord Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, when he came to Paul, he opened up Paul's perfect understanding to what was going on. That's why Paul spoke about the mystery of the Gentiles. You know? I got that scripture for okay. you. Uh, the book of Colossians, uh, the first chapter, the 25th verse. And like you said, these, these are the words of the Apostle Paul. He said, Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Heavenly Father, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Heavenly Father. Um, you know, you can interpret yeah, it. Come on, come on. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages yep. and from generations. Why? Because when you went back, during, even during the time of Paul, the, that whole... Uh, situation of the Gentiles wasn't even understood back then. Now, even though the Jews in Jerusalem didn't have the truth, but they did understand one thing that the other nations had no part in this in in the in the uh, in this in this uh, book, you know, called the Bible or the Tanakh. You know, they had no parts of this book. So at that one thing, they had uh, right. But what they did was they they included. All of those Israelites that fell away from the grace, so to speak, they included them with those Gentiles. You know, because the only ones that can get back in, uh, when you look up the word convert, uh, there's a scripture. Uh, Lord's will, I'm, I'm gonna get it in um, in Isaiah, and, I, and I, I'll leave that. I'll leave that for for, the, for when I get it. I just want to say something. You just said um, about the other nations, right? Here's uh, a scripture for you uh, that the Lord is not dealing with them. Period. Uh, the book of Psalm 147, beginning at the 19th verse. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. The 20th verse. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Right. So all nations, no other nation outside of the nation of Israel received the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. That's why they're called saints. What does the word saint mean? This word saint means holy. What made the nation of Israel holy 
outside of all these other nations when the law gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. That's what separated us from other nations. And it tells you clearly that the other nations did not receive this. There is covenants that were given, agreements, you know, testaments. Okay. Another scripture back up, the book of Psalm 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Yeah, I got some scriptures, okay? I put in the word. And a lot of times you go to the, the uh, blue letter, and um, yeah, we made the blue letter famous, man. <laughs> All the mother camps, you know, well, it started with me. The spirit jumped on me. I stumbled upon it, and I showed you all about it, and then you all kind of played with it. Now it's the standard almost, you know? Yep. I'm not saying that the blue letter is perfect because it goes on, goes off too. I, I, You know, you catch them bones, right? That's why you got to be a uh, full age when you deal with any of these books. Anyway, I put in the word mystery, right? And I'm just going to read some of the scriptures. It came up how many times? Uh, 22 times in 22 verses, all right? All right? Mark 4 and 11, it says, And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. That's the reason why the Lord spoke in parables. Um... Okay, uh, Romans eleven twenty five. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits. A lot of you are wise in your own conceits. That blindness in part is happened to Israel until the until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Now you have certain groups. Romans the eleven chapter is almost a mystery in itself because you have certain Israelite groups. That teach that these Gentiles in Romans the eleven chapter are talking about Israel. I'm talking about other nations. It's not talking about other nations. It's talking about Israel. That's why it says, "Until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in." The fullness of the Gentiles be come in rep is this, the fullness of Israel coming in. All of them, because eventually they're all going to be woken up. Okay, another scripture. It's another good one. Uh, what is this? Uh, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. So you just can't pick up the Bible and start reading it and say this means this and that means that. You need somebody, a man of the Lord, to break it down for you, to guide you. You, you have to be guided, man. It says, but we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom. It's still hidden today. Even the hidden wisdom. And, it's, and the mystery is so deep and the wisdom is so hidden that when we tell you what it is, when we break it down to you, you can't see it. Now that's bad. A hidden in plain sight. Let me read that again. <laughs> but we speak the wisdom of the both sides. That's why you can't get a James White, which you should do, and I'm pretty sure you're doing it. You're watching all our videos, you know, and you're learning, all right? Uh, Vocal Malone, you got a lot of learning to do. You, you're you not on the level. So you jumped up there like like you knew something. You were you a little tadpole, man. And a, a, another tadpole made you look bad, which is Tazariac. Tazariac is a tadpole, and you a baby tadpole. Well, tadpoles are babies, but you're a smaller tadpole. It's the tadpole versus the tadpole. And then two tadpoles going at it. <laughs> it says, but we speak. That's why, that's why everybody hates us, man, you know. If, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a little fishbowl, man. Oh, oh, a one, a big goldfish against another, a baby gold, a little goldfish. That's all that was. You know, it says, but we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world, 
before the world unto our glory. Whose glory? Israel's glory. And we're going to get into um, uh, Hebrews, the eighth chapter, because you slipped on that one, my man. Uh, James, uh, what was his name? Uh, James White. You said you, the, the one brother called in and he quoted uh, Hebrews, the eighth chapter. And then James White said, what's the application? Well, the application, it applies to the nation of Israel because it, the word Gentile is not found in that uh, chapter at all. It's talking about the bringing together of the two kingdoms as one in the kingdom of heaven and the law is going to be put in their, in, written in their heart. And that's all Paul was doing was reiterating what was said in, in uh, Jeremiah 31 and 31. <laughs> that should have been a, pa a pay-per-view event, you know? Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, go ahead, go ahead, man, because I'm laughing. Um. Because uh, Elder Apostle Star mentioned about the parables, and uh, maybe this will shed a little more light on it. This is from the book of Psalm 78, beginning the first verse. It says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will, uh, the book of Psalms, the 78th chapter. Uh, the first verse, give ear, O my people. Right there, who's the Lord talking about? His people. <laughs> he didn't say all people. What's said, the application? <laughs> yeah, what's the application? Give give ear, O my people. And in reality, the only ones that's going to listen in this generation is the elect. O, uh, o my people, to my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which have which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. So far as dealing all with Israel, we will not hide them from their children. Which now, now you brothers are getting the benefits of that now, through us, which we got it through our elders. So it's that generation, just like the scripture says. We will not hide it from we will not hide them from their children. And you're not it's not being hidden to you, brothers out there. You sincere brothers. Showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord. Is that not what we're doing? And his strength and his wonderful works that he have done. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Again, that's what we're doing. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. Yeah, not, not, not the other nations. That's right. Nowhere in, what, like, is, like you said, what's the application? Nowhere in this application is uh, the other nations fit. Nowhere in what I've, I've read so far. Okay that they might set their hope in the Heavenly Father. First of all, the so-called white men, the real Edomites, they don't hope in the Heavenly Father, all right? Yeah. They trust in, the, in their uh, uh, pagan gods, man, and uh, which the main god they trust in, uh, take, for instance, the Rothschilds. The, the Rothschilds believe in the so-called, the so uh, you know, the gold and silver. That's their god, gold and silver. Okay. Well, there's a saying that said, uh, uh, "Money is God, and, and uh, Rothschild is, is its prophet." Is its prophet. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, and I'm I'm using the the most extreme out of you Edomites, the Rothschilds. That's that's your head family. All right. Um, Just like the extreme of the Israelites is GMS, as Con they said, they were right on that. That's right. They said GMS. It was Volko Malone that said it. Yeah. He said GMS is the most, most extreme. extreme out of all the Israelites. You heard that, Nate? You heard that? Mr. Contro <laughs> controversial Johanna. Yeah, man. Hey, because you always have the most extreme and you always have the, the, the least extreme. Yep. All right? You got to have both, man. You got to have both sides. Um, you, got guppies, you, got guppies, you got guppies and tadpoles and then you got the extreme. <laughs> That's right. Sharks. You got sharks. You got tuna. Uh, that they might set their hope in the Heavenly Father and not forget the works of the Heavenly Father. 
who's this day? Again, the Israelites, and in this generation, the elect. But keep his commandments. I mean, the point's made. That's pretty much it. You got it. More scriptures. Ephesians 3, verse 3. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words. Because how did the Most High deal? And I'm going to go into that. How did the Most High, the, the, the Lord, deal with Paul? He dealt with him. He dealt, He came to him and, and showed him these things, man. That's why the Apostle Peter said what he said. In, um, uh, yeah, go to it. Go to it. Second Peter's. Uh, this is... Uh, that, that, that what right there, what Peter said is very key because... He understood that that Paul's letters were 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 uh, very hard to be understood if you didn't have the proper understanding. If the spirit wasn't dealing with you, you want the scripture? I got it. Go ahead, read it. Uh, Second Peter three and fifteen. Well, beginning at fifteen, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you, and as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Right. What is the some things that are hard to be understood? The the Gentile issue, because that was what was that was one of uh, uh, the Apostle Paul's main arguments was dealing with the the Gentiles and how they were brought in by faith, uh, and he understood that they were Israelite foreigners. You know, all of those letters that he wrote, those are all Israelites scattered throughout all those regions. As also in all epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. Yeah, wrestle. Con. As they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Next scripture, Ephesians 6, verse 19. And for me, that, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel. Not to make known my fashion sense, you know, or my my hip, my spitting fire skills and making rap videos and cookouts. Nah, man. This is this GMS is cut and dry, man. You're not gonna get no cookout from us. You're not gonna get no t-shirts. You're not going to get no fancy slogans. Well, once in a while, you might get a fancy slogan. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, ain't no tadpoles. Well, we're getting rid of tadpoles. We, we're cleaning out the fish tank. It says, uh, Col Colossians 1, 26, right? In 27, it says, no, 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 no. Let me go to, uh, let me go. And it had a video up. This guy, this he's a super Jake superhero out there in uh, San Francisco Bay or whatever the Bay Area. This dude, he's a superhero, right? So they had they had him. I forget his name. Versus um, ISUPK. So I'm sure this guy beating Edomites up, Jakes up, and all that. The guy's an actual superhero, you know. <laughs> and then they went, then they then they flipped to ISUPK. They got the new video, Purple Rain. And then you see the lights get dude rapping. I said, what kind of man is this? I said, this is some funny shit, man. And that's why you get a lot of people following you guys. Um, because, let me, let me go up. You know what? I got Possible. it. I got it right now. I got it right now. Okay. 25. I just wanted to go up a couple of verses. I wanted to really go up to 19, but that's all right. Y'all can read that at home. It says uh Colossians uh 1 25. It says, Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the most high, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the most high. Even the mystery which hath been hid from ages 
and from generations. Give me right quick, uh, Daniel 12 and uh, was it three or four, and then jump down to uh, the tenth, the uh, tenth verse. It says, "Even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints." The word saints, and we'll we'll look into the word saint later. The word saint saints is referring to the Israelites, not Gentiles. All right. It goes on to say, 27 verse, uh, first, uh, Colossians uh, 1, 21, it says 27, to whom the Most High would make known what is the riches. Now, now you got to think of Romans 11 chapter, the riches, right? The riches of the glory. Glory is, means kingdom. That's why that's found in Romans, the ninth chapter of this mystery among the Gentiles. Now, that, you're going to choke on that. The, uh, uh, the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Yahweh Shai, in you, the hope of glory. So then you say, wait a minute. That, it says Gentiles. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand what does it mean by the word Gentile here. It's talking about Israelites. Because at one time, Israel, you had Israelites that were scattered. When you go into the history of Israel, right? Let's go way back to the to Mizraim, which is uh, known as the Egyptian uh, captivity. We 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 became a nation in captivity, and we're a nation that's been scattered. That's going to be brought. That's being brought together in the last captivity, which is spiritual e Sodom and Egypt. That was the first Egypt. This is the last Egypt, spiritual Egypt. All right. So now, in between that so-called ancient Egypt and today, we went through, we were uh, captive under other uh, uh, powers, the Babylonians, the, um, the Assyrians, Shalmaneser V, uh, the, uh, uh, help me out, the, uh, oh, the Moabites. Yeah, the Moabites, uh, Eglon, Eglon. Right, the Moabites, uh, uh, the uh, oh. the Babylonians I mentioned, Babylonians, the Medo Persians, the Greeks, the Greeks, Romans, the Romans, mm -hmm. and um, what you have to understand is, from the time of the Babylonian Empire, the split already happened. There was two kingdoms. When you read the Book of Kings and uh, the the, the uh, Second Kings and uh, uh, the, the Quran, Chronicles of uh, Israel, our uh, history, you read what happened and how that split took place. So when the, Bab when the ancient Babylonians took, took down Israel, they took down the kingdom of Judah. And that was about approximately 100 years after the Assyrians took down and put into captivity the kingdom of Israel, which consisted of Ephraim and the other tribe, because Ephraim became the head tribe. When you go into uh, uh, Solomon's son, uh, Rehoboam, and Jeroboam was from the tribe of uh, uh, Ephraim, which was the son of Nebat, all right? And he was the one, and uh, what was the prophet? The prophet was Ahijah, Ahi 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 right. Was, he was the one that grabbed him, because when the prophets came, they came rough. They didn't come in business suits. They wouldn't rapping. Right. All right. They wouldn't have them cookouts and selling you lemonade. They came different ways, man. Mm -hmm. And Ahijah the prophet came up to a, a Jeroboam and grabbed him up and ripped his garment off mm -hmm. and ripped it in a, into, a, what was it, 12 pieces. He gave him 10 of them pieces. He said, look, that's for you. You get 10. And the other two, because he had Judah and Benjamin and Levi, the, their inheritance was the most high. That's why I said two. Because Levi was uh, among all the other tribes. Now, when you read in, into the history, because what was taught at One West was a, uh, was a nine and a half tribe. Because, no, no, no. Jeroboam, and it's in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Jeroboam, they, got, they pushed out the Levites. If you want to get it, if you know it is. I got it. I got it marked down. I can find it. Mm -hmm. But if you can find it, you bring it out. Um, 
what he did was he said he said all oh, you Levites you you out of here so Levi packed up this this stuff and they and they and they got with the the kingdom of Judah so it was Judah Benjamin and Levi all right that was the kingdom of Judah what Jeroboam did was he took the other tribes and made them holy men y'all gonna be the priests yeah, base men base men that's why among Gad you had uh, the holy man. The holy because you had Gadites that were playing, acting like they were the uh, Levites, yeah, the priests. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So now, when they when they came over here to the Americas, the 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 the, the, the ten tribes were already here, mm -hmm. and so now the other tribes came over here pursuant to the scriptures. Uh deuteronomy uh 28 verse 68 and you can't see it mr malone because you're not spiritual you're a natural man and right. you're jumping up oh, where's that where, 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 wait a minute with ships and buy you you're not you're not a spiritual man that's right and that's why when you go when you go to the videos on uh alpha and omega you don't see any videos on prophecy because they don't know prophecy right okay right. they don't know prophecy so you know so going to the going to this verse again to whom the most high will make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the gentiles which is yahweh shy in you the hope of glory glory meaning ultimately you're gonna get the kingdom so this gentiles right here is talking about israel now from the time of the babylonian empire um uh going back about 100 years before that you had the uh, Assyrians take down the uh, the uh, ten tribes, um, the ten tribes of uh, Israel, which is the kingdom of Israel. What happened was they eventually came over here to the Americas, and there's we have the scriptures on that. That's why you have to go into the Apocrypha. All right. Um, the other tribe that stayed, you what happened? You had the Greek Empire. You had the uh, Maccabees, you had the uh, uh, Antiochus, the line of the Seleucus line, and the, and the Ptolemy line. And what happened was they took over Israel, and a lot of those Israelites were forced to move in those other areas. And a lot of them moved down to Egypt. And then the ones that stayed in the pro approximate, approximately, or stayed near um, Israel or in Israel, they were Hellenized. Cause they and we're gonna go into the history on that. They were they were Hellenized, so they had they 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 followed Greek customs. And and um and uh Antiochus put out an order that you can't circumcise your children, you have to eat pork, you can't keep the Sabbath, you can't pray to your God. And a lot of them was with it, man. Yeah, it's okay. No, we ain't we ain't got no problem with it. Yeah, they set up a place of exercise. So what happened? They got scattered. That's why when Paul went up speaking to them gentiles where did he go he went up into asia minor he went into the places places uh such as uh corinth yep. galatia ephesus ephesus macedonia why because you had israelites up there you had black people up there that didn't know that they were israelites that's right and they didn't look like the jews because the jews had had uh beards long beards they pride themselves on their beards man they wore the fringes. They yeah. wore the the the, the uh, regalia of the Israelites. They were circumcised. They ate a certain way. They had a certain language. So when you look at another Israelite that might be bald headed, uh, no beard on his face, uncircumcised, eating pork, right, dressed up like a Greek, what are you gonna call him? You gonna say this guy ain't no Israelite? Yeah, yeah, he's a heathen. He's a heathen. Right. And that's what it meant. That's the mystery, man. That's the mystery. That's the mystery that you don't understand, James White. Right. <laughs> That's why you have uh like when it reads when you read here in the book of Acts, the second chapter, when you had all these different um all these different Jews that came from the, those different lands and uh they came to Jerusalem. It says this, I'll read it real quick. It says Acts two and five. Uh Salaka. It says, um, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven, because they were coming from all those different nations where they were scattered. Now you had the Jews 
that knew that they were Israelites, that were speaking the different languages of those nations. But then you also had Jews that didn't know they were Jews, and they would call themselves by the names of Greeks or Romans, you know, or, or uh, Elamites or Ishmaelites or whatever nation they were scattered among. They would call themselves by those names. Just like you had down in, um, in Egypt, in uh, Alexandria, Egypt, you had what they called the Alexandrian Jews. And those Alexandrian Jews were who? Those are Israelites that were that were in there that spoke predominantly the Greek language. Yeah, I, I got a scripture to back you up. You you mentioned about the Okay. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned about the names, uh the Greek names. Uh this is just an example. The book of Romans 16, beginning at the eleventh verse. It says, Salute Herodian, my kinsmen. Greet them that be of the household of Narcissus. These are the Greek names that, that you just mentioned. Elder Apostle Ramlab just mentioned. Which are in the Lord. Salute Tryphena and Tryphosa, who labor in the Lord. Salute the beloved Persis, which labored much in the Lord. Salute Rufus, <laughs> chosen in the Lord and his mother and mine. Salute Asyncretus. As as yeah, just hold tight. And Philegion and Hermas and Patrobas. These were all Israelites that had what? Greek names, man, to back you up what you just said. Absolutely. That's why um um when you when you go into the uh, history of the uh, of of the uh, Roman army, you had a lot of Israelites that were in there, and but they had Greek and Latin names. So because they had Greek and Latin names, they were not uh, um uh, reckoned so to speak as being Jews. So you had a lot of those Israelites that were in the armies, but you didn't know they were Israelites because they they had those Greek and Latin names. Like the names I'm reading here now in the prophecy in Isaiah. Now, the prophecy in Isaiah said, in Isaiah, what is it, 44? When they came, come back to Israel, they're going to be surnamed by what? Name by the of name Israel. of Israel. That's right. Because when they had those Greek names, they weren't saying, uh, uh, Gaba, Bun, Bun, uh, uh, Bun, 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 Bun Yashra yeah. Allah, yep. Bun Yahawada, yeah. Wa, Yahawashai. They weren't saying that, man. Right. All right? Uh, uh, Patrobas, Hermes. Hermes is a straight-up Greek name, man. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's one of the God's names. Yeah, but these weren't white boys. No, these were kids. Israelites. Yep. They may have, some of them may have looked like a so-called white man, but they were Israelites. And the brethren which are with them salute Philo, Philo, Philo Gus and Julia. Come on, Julia? Julia, yep. <laughs> uh, Nereus and his sister Olympus. Olympus? Olympus. Come on, you can't get more Greek than that. Dumb. All right, that's as Greek as a what was that? Was that pastry that they eat? Oh, the baklava. Oh, that's as Greek as baklava, man. Dumb. All right, uh, and his sister Olympus and all the saints of the saints, Israelites, and all the saints which are with them. That's it. All right, hey, you, you did, uh, Ariella. I um hey so we're gonna put uh, uh the brother Ariala on the phone uh, the brother from the uh, Texas camp just let us know if y'all can hear the brother. Go ahead. Hey, shalom, 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 shalom. Can yeah. y'all can y'all brothers hear him? Yeah, man, I just, you know, I just wanted to make a quick point because uh, I think, you know, you got these guys from these different Christian groups. And, and they don't want to recognize how powerful the, the Greek the, the, the Greek suppression of the Jerusalem was, man. When, whenever Alexander the Great, uh, the Alexander the Greek rose up and dominated the whole known world at that time, what he did to the Jews was unprecedented. Even uh, underneath the Babylonian and Persian empires, you didn't have the assimilation to a totally different culture as deep. As, as the Greek Empire had pushed, man, the Hellenization of the uh, of the Jews and the, of the other nations round about was heavy, man. 
So, so whenever you had this whole new doctrine that the Jews didn't understand of Yahweh coming back and restoring the whole house of Israel, it was an argument. It was an argument amongst those Jews at the time. The argument didn't have nothing to do with the other nations. It was whether these scattered Jews, these scattered Israelites that were broken off from the house of Israel have a right back uh, underneath these prophecies and these scriptures, you know? And the scribes and the Pharisees of that day in and around Jerusalem and in the other churches, they disagreed. They didn't believe that Yahweh shall fit the prophecies. That's why the break breakdown of the scriptures is so heavy within the New Testament. They were going through the prophecies showing, look, this is a whole, this, this whole new doctrine is being set up, man. This 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 whole new system of, of, of worshiping Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is being set up on the planet Earth and the whole house of Israel is invited, you know? It was a it was a big deal. That's why they were getting beheaded because they had made pacts with the Romans. They had made pacts with the Greeks roundabout, you know. And and so the the, the doctrine of Yahweh Shah amongst the Israelites, you know, was a big deal. And the book and you had the guy James White try to deny what was talked about in Hebrews the eighth chapter. When you go through Hebrews the eighth chapter, they're describing the changing of those two covenants from the Levitical priesthood, pretty much. Into the new co uh, new covenant underneath Yahweh Shah. That's right. You know. Yeah, that's right. And so that's right. it's only talking about the Israelites. It's only talking about the Israelites, the scattered Israelites uh, amongst and in around in and around that whole area. You know. Gone. And so it, and that's why it's a mystery. It's a mystery, and these guys trying to wiggle their way up in there because they know that they're Gentiles. That because the word of the Israelites. Who the real Israelites are has gone out and they like, oh shit. Cause they never would admit that we were the Israelites. Now they just they freely accept it. Okay, y'all the Israelites, but we're the Gentiles. Let us in. Yeah, yeah. They they, you know? they, they were um uh they they get nervous now. Yeah, they they getting shook, you know, because the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, through the apostles on down. Now the world is the world is being shaken up with the doctrine that's being pushed out. It's undeniable, you know, and, and, and but but the, but we ain't finna shake, we ain't finna shuck and jab. No, y'all going down the Edomites going into slavery, you know. That's it. We ain't finna we ain't finna cater to your emotions, man. You going into slavery. That's it. <laughs> you know, and we're you know? not gonna sugarcoat it like these other uh, uh, camps yep. would do. You know, like yep. you had this guy bubble eyes. You know, he's supposed to, you know, be this guy that gets into the you know so called. You know, names of the Most High is Ahia, and the son's name is Yeshaya. And when he first got on the first debate with this guy James White, you know, James White was was kind of toying with him at first. You know, yeah, Ahia and Yeshaya wasn't with him. That's right. Ahia and Yeshaya went on. A, they, on a, they went on vacation. They went on vacation. Yeah, they caught two yep. tickets to paradise. <laughs> they were, they were hang, hanging out at the Happy Hunting Ground. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was it. You had more? Say some more. Say some more. Hey, man, you know you like to run your mouth to <laughs> say what you got to say, brother. <laughs> well, y'all pretty much run it, out champ. The run it. You know, that I was going to hit. You know, y'all pretty much brought out the scriptures I, I was going to hit, you know, that I would hit. And y'all going into it. But it's just like that word diaspora when you look it up in the Greek, when you go into James 1 and 1. And it, talk, and it talks about the scattered. He's telling you who he's writing to, to right there, yeah. to, those, to that diaspora. That word scattered goes into the word diaspora, which means the Jews that were scattered amongst the other nations. The mm -hmm. Israelites that were scattered amongst the other nations. It's, it's, the Bible started out talking about the chosen elect, and it ended up talking about the chosen elect, which is the nation of Israel at the end of the day. The, the, the promises, the covenants, everything is for the nation of Israel. No one else. And there's no dynamic change. Hey, and, you know? and, and the reason why they get tripped up is because of that word Gentile. Right, right. And Apostle Gabar just uh, uploaded a sit-down going into the word Nakar versus the word Gar, which right. is another, uh, you know, sledgehammer up against that wall, man. You, you know? know? You know what that is? That What that is is these people, they looking at the English, you know, and there's uh, words that, that are written the same word, but they don't understand, you know, they don't, they don't understand um that that there's differences in the hebrew for those particular words God, 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 God. And, you know uh 
it, you know, it's all through the spirit that this is, is happening. It's funny they they run into all the other uh, to, to these people to argue with, and it's the it's the it's the GMS babies that they going to and get stuck by with Captain Tazaria and uh, uh, Alazar. And you know, we like to make fun of those guys. We like y'all to hard babies. Just go on and just you know, y'all. <laughs> look, man. The spirit of y'all watching me on the shot is crushing all the BS, man. And so this is all that's happening, man. It's just prophecy. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Hey, so, so that's seeing all that, I have to say, Apostle. All right, brother. Hey, so Lord's will we know uh, I'll talk to you. Hey, you how about you, Shah Brakata? Yeah, how about you, Shah Brakata? All right. Yeah, you know, and, and pretty much that's where these these devils they get nervous, you know, and they seeing they seeing the um they seeing the the uh the flood of truth that's coming out there, you know, and 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 how it's being made evident and clear who the Israelites are. That's why these devils didn't want Jake in, in uh, uh, slavery to read the Bible. You know, because they knew something they there was something that they knew that they didn't want the slaves to find out about, you know? Yeah, they knew they were the Israelites. That's it. <laughs> That's it, you know? And now that it's coming out, now they're getting nervous. Now they're trying to make excuses. Now they're trying to fit themselves in there. Yeah, the genie's out the bottle. Yep. As a matter of fact, uh, what is that? The bag, dude. Isaiah 8, the 8th chapter. It refers to Yahusha as being a genie. Yep. You know, when we bring out these scriptures, we're rubbing the bottle. Right. And out comes that genie, and that genie, he, he, coming out, he ain't coming out to play, man. All right? And that, that's the book of Isaiah, the 8th chapter. It says he shall be a jinn and a snare. That's where you get the word genie from, gin, which means trap, you know? Yeah, yep. So okay. Mr. James White is trapped. Yeah. He's trapped and he can't get out. I'm going to ask you all a question. <laughs> y'all can uh, uh, come back on the comment board. Do y'all believe that the majority of the Sicilians are Israelites? Just answer on the comment board. Yeah or nay? Let your yay be yay. That's what the scriptures say. Yay, yay. Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Um, what about the Irish? Do you believe a good number of uh, Irish people are Israelites? Even the ones that might look kind of like Edomites? <laughs> what about the Scots? Scott? What do you think about the Scots? And like uh, this guy, uh, Johnny Cash, he used to tell the people that he was a Gadite. I think he was Cherokee. He said, oh, I'm Cherokee. My blood, you know, but he kind of looked like a che you know, Cherokee. You know, he could pass for it, you know, and, he, and then he found out that he was a Scot on both sides and he got mad. But now Johnny Cash, is he an Israelite or an Edomite? He got, that's an Israelite right there, man. Them songs that he was singing, man, you know? That's right. That's right. And those are songs that he made up, like the Fult Fulton County Prison song. You think that he, he said he just made it up. He said, I never went to no Fulton. You know, that's Jake. That's Jake. Yep. That's Jake right there. But we're just playing with the Gentile thing right now. Okay. A lot of counting, yeah. On, you know, on, on the, uh, yeah, be, be specific. You know, I heard, I see one brother put, uh, you know, um, Johnny Cash is a Jake. I saw another brother put hold Sicilians. Up, hold, up, hold up. The guy that said Johnny Cash is a Jake. Why do you say he's a Jake? Somebody said, what is it, Northwest uh, Juggernaut. I had a feeling Cash was a Jake. <laughs> well, he was whip, whoop, uh, whipped by his woman, June oh, Carter Cash. Oh, yeah, well, that's he's all Jake. in love that's with her. Jake, boy. That's Jake. He's all in love with her, yeah. Jake's, Jake's, you know, he, it's hard to get around that woman, man. They showed you that in the movie. And they, hey, a woman, woman smitten all of us at one time or another. Uh, Reese, Reese, Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon played June yeah. Carter Cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and River Phoenix brother, what's his name? Joaquin Phoenix yeah. played Johnny Cash, which he might be a Jake. It's supposed to be Puerto Ricans, yeah, I don't Joaquin, know, Puerto yeah. Rican Jews or whatever. Uh, somebody put in Bruce Lee, uh, Cash, a uh, Jake, uh, uh, Cash, uh, Cash, a Jake. That's not like a nigga. Cash, that's a do hip hop nigga. Cash, a Jake. Uh, Al Pacino is a Jake. Well, how do you know that, brother? What about Jim Carrey? 
Well, Jim Carrey did make the most high as a black man. Yeah. Well, why will he here? <laughs> so he, he might be a Jake, you know? Yeah, and that skit where he, where, he where he did the vanilla ice. Somebody said Justin Bieber. 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 Yeah, that skit where he did vanilla ice. He, he uh, spoofed vanilla ice. Jimmy, uh, Jim Carrey. Well, it's, it's he was Eliza dancing. Jake. Yeah, he was dancing. He was in, he, he was trying to go off rhythm. He had to make himself go off rhythm because he was right in step. Yeah. Yeah. Or somebody put in Tony Ja as an Israelite. That's that martial oh, art yeah, guy. guy. Justin Bieber. Uh, somebody put in GMS Wisdom over Richard Seven. My mom is a is a black uh, Irish. All right. Because, see, the reason why we put that out there, and we might as well go into the hair mic thing too. All right. Yes. The reason why we put it out there, because the subject is on the Gentiles. And we know that Israel was scattered according to the scriptures. And you can give me some scriptures on, pull, pull them on deck, that they were scattered literally all over the place. And they looked like everybody under the sun. Like you got these clowns at the ISUPK. And I don't really want to call them clowns, but I got to call them clowns. All right. You got uh, the secret disciple of GMS, uh, Tazariak. All right. The, we call him the tadpole. All right. Um, you, this, this guy had a cookout and uh, uh, Sarnetta brought out this little chubby black kid. And he said, can he go to the cookout? And he said, yeah, he can go to the cookout. He said, you know, he's an African. He said, no, he can't go to the cookout. So the little kid got mad. Now, the little kid, I believe, he said he was Nigerian, either Nigerian or Igbo. Well, Igbo are from Nigeria. All right. Now, I believe I could be wrong. Tazariak, he likes it. He, he likes hip hop. Right. And I believe if it's not his greatest, the, the, the rapper that he likes the most or one who's his favorite rapper. I believe it's Nas. I believe he said Nas. Did you say that? You can you can you can come and make a video on it. Hey, because if you believe Nas is a. a it, it, uh, um, is your greatest is to you one of the greatest rappers or the greatest? I'm pretty sure you believe that Nas is one of the greatest rappers, top three, top five, or whatever, top ten, right? Now let me ask you a question: Can him can can Hamites rap? Can they spit fire? Can they flow? How huh? can a, can a Hamite can an actual Hamite flow? <laughs> <laughs> Can a hair might flow? Yeah, can a hair might flow? Hey, like that dude, um, I mean, he's a little before a lot of your brother's time, but he's a hair might. But he's really an Israelite. The, the guy who did um, uh, Sol Marcosa. In the early, early, uh, Manu, I think his name is Manu Di Ma You brothers can confirm it. When I was a kid when that came out, I got, man, I got all man, into that, gets that you man. Moving, man. You know? Manu Di Bango, uh, the song is... Uh, Soul Makosa, Mama say, Mama say, Mama Makosa. That ain't. That ain't, that ain't no hammite. That ain't. Yeah. That, that ain't, ain't no, no hammite. hammite. I, I, right. got, I got a. I got a couple of. Yeah, in, in comparison to bangs. Oh, bang. Oh. Now bangs. That's. <laughs> Somebody. Put that's why Jake don't want to go to Africa, man. They don't want, they don't want to run into bangs. That's right. <laughs> yeah, hey, I had to say that. I'm sorry, Vocab Malone, but yeah, you, you, you ain't got it, my man. When it comes to flowing, my man, you got to give it up. Give that. Well, up. that's why he's get he's trying to get into this because his so-called rap career, it ain't you know, it's going yeah. nowhere. I mean, I, I I just have to keep it real with you. Yeah. But, but, but for a Christian rapper, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's pretty good for a Christian rapper. Let's just say that. Uh, this is Leviticus twenty-six and yeah. thirty-three. I'm sorry, if somebody put it. Fela Kuti. Now Fela Kuti, he's supposed to be a Hamite, but he's a Jake. Man, that dude makes some soulful music. Yeah. Fit, fit. Oh, no, somebody put it in the comment. Somebody. Yeah. If you put the name up in there, I bet you he from West Africa. Yeah, yeah. And you got you got Israelites all over Africa, too. I believe he's Nigerian. Yeah, most likely is. Somebody put that Hamites can't even dribble the basketball. I say, yeah, look at Polite. He got Fela Kuti. He got a song called... Expensive as shit. 
I think it was made back in the 70s. That's a bad tune, man. You know? Oh, um, uh, Akon. Akon is a Jake. Because when I first heard that, that cut, I said, that's a Jake. And then somebody says, a hammer. I said, a hammer. <laughs> and then I said, I said, wait a minute. That, that dude's a Jake, man. <laughs> oh, check this out. It says, Fela Kuti. Miles Davis named Fela Kuti the future of music. Few, few musicians. Miles Davis is a, <laughs> a ham like then, right? Yeah, right. Man, Miles Davis is the baddest trump, trumpeter, oh, yeah, yeah. and he hated Esau, and he hated Esau to the bone, man. Con, con. And Esau loved the hell out of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says, it says, it says, Miles Davis named Fela Kuti the future of music. Few musicians have ever been as stoppably, or oh, I'm sorry, unstoppably creative as Miles Davis. Now, for Miles Davis to name Fela Kuti the future of music, that means he dug his music. Mm. Now, if you listen to his music, that if that thing don't get you dancing, then you, you're dead inside. You, ain't, you just ain't got no soul. Because that's some soulful mu uh, music, man, Fela Kuti. <laughs> right. This is uh, Leviticus 26.33. And I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. Uh, Psalms 44 and 11. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, and hast scattered us among the heathen. <clears throat> the book of Hosea 8 and 8, which is like a cornerstone of the Israelite foreigner scriptures. Uh, Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. And, th and this Gentiles is talking about the other nations. Okay, they, it says that Israel is going to be among them as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. Because wherever Israelites are, they're catching hell from the nations that they're scattered amongst. Like over here in America, we as Israelites are catching hell from who? The Edomites. We're like a vessel wherein is no pleasure. Especially the so-called Negro, man. You know, Judah, tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, in particular the tribe of Judah, it's like, it's like nobody wants them around. They want them around, but they don't want them around. They want them around when it comes to entertainment, but for everything, other, you know, other things, they, it's like they don't want them around. You know, that nigga, that nigga. But when it comes to entertainment, when you have a party, who are they looking to to entertain that party? A, a so-called Negro, a nigga, right? So that's what it's meant by as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. And there's a lot of deeper meaning to that too. I looked up Nas, right? It says Nasir Ben, meaning the son of Olu Dara Jones, was born September 14th. Are you listening to Zariak? 1973 in Brooklyn, New York. Now the question is, are you going to, after I read this, are you going to allow Nas to come to your next cookout? It says, it says his father, Olu Dora, which Nas took took his name from his father, all right? Because Nasir Ben, hold up, that's Israel right there. That's the spirit of Israel. Nasir Ben, Ben Olu Dora, which means Nasir, son of Olu Dora. Let me read on. It talks about, okay, it says uh, his father, o Olu Dora, born Charles Jones III, is a jazz and blues musician. So that was in his DNA, Nas's DNA, from Mississippi. Let me say it right, from Mississippi. His mother, Fanny Ann Little Jones, was a postal worker from South Carolina. He has one sibling, a brother named Zabari Fret who is best known as Jungle, a member of the hip-hop group Braveheart. See, I didn't know that. Um, his father took his, his, his father took his name Ola Olu Dora from the Yoruba people, which are Afri African. Uh, Western Africans, right? Where the 
Yoruba people live. It mentions Mali, the Ivory Coast, Ghana, Cameroon. Uh, yeah, but you, you know why, right? You, you know why. You know why. Um, oh, okay, well, hey, this is, this is too, too high-powered, man. What is it doing now? See if you can boot it back up. You don't want this truth to come out. This thing is too high powered, man. Okay, looks like we're back. Yeah. We back on? Yeah. Okay, well, I gotta refresh this. Good, say something. Somebody mentioned Sade. How could we forget Sade? You know? Yeah, she's from Nigeria. Yep. All right, so I got another scripture. This is Psalm 60 and 1. O power, thou hast cast us off, thou hast scattered us, thou hast been displeased. O turn thyself to us again. And that's what's happening right now. The Lord has turned himself again unto us again. And we're mentioning these celebrities because they they drive home the point. Yeah. The Israelites that scattered among the different nations, not because we're saying they're gonna convert and come and Start no. teaching the word. Well, people know now. people know them by by who they are because of their you know their their name. Yeah, we're, you know? we're using them as an example. Yeah. I got a scripture for you. Uh, the book of John seven and thirty five. It says, "Then said the Jews, and you notice we went from the Edomites to the Hamites, <laughs> all right. And if we if we were to go further, we go to the Ammonites and the Moabites. Certain examples of them that are Jake, like Bruce Lee." Concerning the, the Moabites, uh, John 7 and 35, it says, Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So again, that backs up Hosea 8 and 8. The disperse among the Gentiles. Who, who is that? Israelites. All right? You got you got you got, God, I got some. This is Luke 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive unto all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles unto the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And you have Israelites literally. Can, can you hear? You okay. hear? Um, it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. Yeah, so I'm going to read that again. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And so you literally have Israelites scattered all over the world. And we're coming. And, and this, this particular scripture, this time of the Gentiles is different from the one in the book of Romans, the 11th chapter. Because this one here is talking about the actual nations. Because we're coming down to the time where now their time is about to be fulfilled. Now it's time for them to go down, and it's time for us to come up. Yep. I got a scripture uh, for you, uh, the book of Psalm 106, beginning at the 34th verse. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen. Again, that's Israel. And learned their works, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Like case in point with the Edomites, you serve the Edomites' idol, which is who? Caesar Boger. Yep. And it became a snare unto you Israelites. That's why so many of you are in these so-called churches bowing down to a so-called white man as Jesus Christ, which has become a snare unto you. Caesar Boger, that's just one example. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Another word for snare is a trap. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. You're doing that now. A lot of you are uh, pushing your sons and daughters to go into the program of Esau. Yeah, like you, uh, Will Smith and Jada Stinkin'. Yeah, that's a perfect example. You know, Will Smith's son is like a little girl, and his daughter is like a little boy. Yep. Willow Smith, you know? Damn shame. But that. Why? Because Will Smith sacrificed them unto devils. Yep. He sacrificed himself unto devils. That whole family is sacrificed unto devils. Yeah. Jada, Jada, Pickett, 
Will Smith, Willow Smith, Jaden Smith. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine what they do as a family? When they're alone? Come on. Uh, yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, like we just gave you an example, Will Smith, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons. And you know what? Will Smith will actually sacrifice his son if he has to, all right, to get, to get where, he wants, where he wants to always be. That's what they do. Even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. That's what Hollywood is. Hollywood is nothing, or Holly Weird. That's what they call it, is nothing but an idol of Canaan. That's all it is. And the land was polluted with blood. That's it. And this is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 22. It says, You shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them, that the land where the, I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. And that's what happened. When Israel started going off and worshiping them different idols, the Lord kicked them out and caused them to go into captivity underneath these other nations. Why do you think that whole situation happened to where uh, the Assyrians uh, came in, you know, and, and plucked Israel out of Samaria and put in those other uh, heathen nations in there instead of us? You know, because we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. So the Lord kicked us out. And we became strange to our land and eventually we became strange to our customs and to everything else that we had. It says, um, it says, and you shall not walk in the manner of the nations which I cast out before you. For they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. But I have said unto you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you uh, to possess it, a land that flow of the milk and honey. I am the Lord your power, which have separated you from other people. You shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean, and you shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean, and you shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you from other people that you should be mine. Oh, you know, you know that backs you up, uh, the, what happened with Peter, the vision that Peter had with the unclean beast. That was talking about Israelites in an unclean state. And that's a perfect uh, companion to that, uh, what happened with uh, the Apostle Peter when he had that vision, when he was hungry and he was waiting to get to be fed and he went into a trance and he had that vision. And then later he was sent to who? Cornelius, which represented one of those unclean beasts that he saw in the vision. Which goes back to that scripture in, um, in uh, Hosea, the eighth chapter. The is uh, Israel shall be uh, uh, as an unclean vessel among the Gentiles, among the heathen, you know, that's that's how they were that because the most high kicked us out of the land. And, and what cleanses them? The word. That's right. John 17 and 3. How shall I said to his disciples, now I have cleansed you the through the word, word. Which I have spoken. That's and right. it's the same thing with Cornelius. He was cleansed through what? The word. Yeah, famous African Americans of e Igbo descent, um, Queen Latifah. That's that's just one. And we went through this before. Yeah. Um, this brother, uh, uh, Morgan Freeman, also of e uh, Ibu, um, Ibu descent, if I'm saying it right. What? <laughs> Anita Baker. Oh, e Ibu. So how you going to get around that, man? To Zariac? Famous African-Americans of Ibu descent. Anita Bacon. Uh, Anita Bacon. Anita, that was Satan. Anita, <laughs> Anita, Anita, uh, Anita uh, Baker. All right? That's something. Yep. Oh, Kofi Annan, and he was the uh, the head of the uh, UN at one time. Ibu. So that was the hey, the the, the head of uh, the UN was a, was a, was a Negro, an Israelite, a Judite, which I knew about that. 
Let me see. Yeah, Ch Chiretto EG4. That's a, a, the, 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 the the lead man in uh, 12 Years a Slave, straight up uh, Igbo, Nigerian. And by the way, we have so-called Nigerians, Igbo people in in our in our in, in GMS. All right. Yep. Uh, this is Romans chapter two. Um, I'll say uh, twenty-four. For the name of the Most High is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. For circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. <laughs> so if you break the law, you become uncircumcised. Therefore, it's ridicule. Yeah, that's well, that's well known. Uh, Flavor Flav, Ebo uh, descent, which I knew about. I met him years ago. Uh, Got a precept for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. The, the uh, 26 verse. Therefore, if the uncircumcision, which are the Israelite for, because you became uncircumcised by not keeping the law, right? It says, therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? Why? Because now he's going to be cleansed and brought back to the fold. And that's what was happening back then. Do you know circumcision is, uh, is um, a proper healthy practice? Because uh, they made a study, right? Those uh, heathens in uh, China, they're getting penis cancer. Yep. Why? Because they don't practice circumcision. So circumcision is a, is a healthy, not only did the Lord say to do it, but it's practical. Everything yep. the Lord said to do is practical, yep. meaning you can apply it in your, in your daily life. That's right. You know, when the Lord said, you shall eat no man of fat, one of the reasons why, especially in so-called Negro woman, and we saw that when we went to that Brazilian restaurant, yes. they eat nothing but fat. Yep. That's why they're so fat. And hey, they got um, a sign, right? They got the 12 tribe sign, right? Well, this is um, <laughs> Rakar, the gathering of Christ Church, but, it's, but it says the Ibu people of Nigeria. And it speaks of the Jews. And this guy, man, he using the same the same uh, tribe sign that um, Aria that he got from Aria, but he switched it up. You know, he put you know he switched the tribes up. Hey, that dude, that dude is a scam artist, man. You know. Yep. White, tall him a new asshole. Hey, you, you done with your scripture? Yeah, car. Um. The book of Isaiah 11 and 10, beginning at the 10th verse, it says, And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign to the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And this Gentiles is talking about Israelite foreigners. This root of Jesse is talking about really Yahweh Shai. It's talking about Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai came out of the root of Jesse. Jesse was the father of King David. Uh, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time, and this prophecy is being fulfilled even as we speak, to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria. So you're going to have Israelites coming out of Assyria. And from Egypt, you're going to have Israelites coming out of Egypt. And from Paphros and from Cush, that's Ethiopia. That's why the prophecy says Ethiopia shall stretch out their hands to God. And you got these so-called rastas breaking that down wrong. They think it's talking about actual Ethiopians. No, it's talking about Israelites that were scattered among the Ethiopians. Wow. Uh, and here's the prophecy to back it up. Uh, the Lord shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Paphros and from Cush and from Elam. That's your East Indians like the Pun Punjabi people, yep. like this East Indian restaurant we go to sometimes, they show pictures of the Punjabi people dancing. Yep. With, they got all kind of life. Yeah. Now, the scriptures say we are lively stones. And them Punjabi people, they be getting down. Them dancers watch the East Indian videos. 
the women are all beautiful and they they, they get down man it's down you know and and their food is spicier than the, remember that that east indian dude broke it down to us he said the northern uh, northern india less spicy. is less spicy southern india is real spicy yeah, yeah. why because there's mostly jake down there okay. all right um and from elam and from shana and from hamath and from the islands of the sea and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble assemble the outcasts of israel I keep saying israel 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 so what don't you get mr white <laughs> you know he doesn't understand the scriptures man he, he doesn't understand the proper applications yeah because he's breaking bad remember that's, the that's main right. character from breaking bad yep, yep, mr white yeah yeah that's yeah yeah yep, that's, that's, that's breaking that's, bad buddy breaking bad <laughs> hey um yeah he's wrestling he's definitely not on our level man you need to close the book and learn all right uh you know what i gotta i'm gonna bring this out as quick as possible these are four scriptures possibly five um help me out uh first one um for first maccabees one verses 11 to 15 and you can read that and you can break it down the book of first maccabees one and this is why in the scriptures it speaks about the gentiles this and the gentiles that because these are those when you come across the word gentile in the uh, for the most part in the New Testament, it's referring to the Israelites that lost their nationality, their religion, who they were. Right. This is the book of 1 Maccabee, chapter 1, verse 11. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we had have had much sorrow. And this is pretty much uh, the same thing that happened when we came out of Egypt. You know, you had certain wicked Israelites, you know, that that were that were um, murmuring that they were hungry, that you know that they that they had it better in Egypt. They should have stayed on in slavery in Egypt because they had it better there. They were able to eat the cucumbers and the leeks and the garlics and the melon and all that. It's the same thing that happened here. It says, um, so Can I say something on that? because to be, you know, America's not all, <laughs> all that bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about when we was in hardcore slavery, you know, working in the field and all that. Um, we're talking about now we're not on a, on a plantation, but even, even, uh, this, this guy, uh, uh, Solomon Northup, they interviewed him after he served that slavery. And he said slavery wasn't all that bad. He said if it wasn't all that hot. That's what he said. I mean, if you put that in, it might come up, quotes from uh, Solomon Northup. So now we, you know, today, you know, the, the, the new millennium, you know, <laughs> um, you know, you got cable, you got a decent job. You know, you can, hey, you got Jakes with, hey, you got a lot of Jakes out there that are living better than Edomites, man. What, what was that? They got a refrigerator, you got cable, you know. Hey, you can go on vacation. You know, Jake be going on vacation, man. Oh, you got brothers in GMS that go on vacation quite frequently, you know? <laughs> quite a few times, boy. So they're living the life, you know? And so, but the thing is, we're on the bottom, man. We're royal people. We're supposed to be on the top. And we're going to live a million times better than the way we're living right now. You're living all right. That's why you don't want to leave. That's why you want to hurry up and vote for uh, uh, Hillary Clinton. To be president, and all you niggas out there, I'm gonna call you niggas. All you niggas out there that that vote for Hillary Clinton, whether she gets in or not, you're gonna wind up taking the chip, chip, and you're gonna be destroyed unless you repent. Con. All right, Con Ild. Um, this is uh back in First Maccabee one and twelve. So this device pleased them well. So pretty much they persuaded these uh, other Israelites. Then certain of the people were so for, forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. And that's what made them unclean. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathens and made themselves uncircumcised. Now that's twofold, uncircumcised in their, in their mind, but they actually put, there was actually a custom where they, 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 
they did some type of operation where they can actually put the the uh, foreskin back on 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 their penis, you know. And then it looked when they were butt naked in the in the gymnasium, it looked like they that they were uncircumcised, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief, you know. And this is where all that the the Hellenistic uh, period of of the Jews started. You know, this is when they started becoming Hel Hel Hellenized. All right, and that was that was the end of the of the fifteenth verse. Right, next is, uh, first, it's also first back to the first chapter. Then jump down to forty first verse, and then read the fifty third verse. Okay, so you can read the whole first first chapter, but we're just jumping around. All right, first Maccabee one and forty one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom, some say Antiochus, we say Antiochus, that all should be one people. This is, uh, this is, this is all the nations always attempted a one world uh, establishment or one world order. It says, and that, and everyone should leave his laws. So they wanted them to leave the laws of the land, meaning all nations, including Israel. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. And this is what made them uncircumcised. This is how they become, became Gentiles. This is how they became heathens. This is how they became strangers. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of, this, of, the, of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. And and that was it was an actual decree that was given, just like when you go back during the time of Daniel. You know, they there was a decree given by Nebuchadnezzar that all, that everybody at a certain time, when they heard the music, they had to drop down and bow down to the god that uh, Nebuchadnezzar set up, the idol. You know, so that's that was happening here, and it's going to happen here in America. You know, but it's going to be done in in different. Uh, it may be done in different manners. It says, and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbath and festival days, which that's what happened, got, got cut off from the Most High's presence. So the Most High got tired and kicked you to the side, you know? It says, um, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people, see? Because the holy people were what? When you gave up the law, statutes, and commandments, that's what made us holy. So when you put that aside, you became what? Profane, outside of the temple. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts. And, yep, and that's these churches today. They, they're they good for that. They'll have a so-called sermon singing and dancing, and afterwards they'll have a cookout, you know, or, 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 or frying, whatever they, they, or they call it, and, and they'll fish fry, and they'll have uh, catfish, and then they'll have pork and all kind of abominations yeah you made a statement you said this is what made israel holy the laws Con. The, uh the book of deuteronomy the fourth chapter yep. uh beginning at the fifth verse behold i have taught you statues and judgments even as the lord my power commanded me and this is moses speaking that ye should do so in the land whither you go to possess it keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. And that's what we're getting back. We're getting that back. All right. Um, in this generation. Which shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have the most high so nigh unto them? You listening, Mr. White? As the Lord our power is in all things that we call him, that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that have statues and judgment so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? You know, so that's what separated us from the other nations. You know, and that was that was the covenant that was given, and that covenant that was given on the first covenant that was given was a sacrificial blood covenant that if you broke these laws the only way you can be redeemed is if you shed blood of a, of a particular uh, clean animal 
And that's why Yahweh Shai had to come to, to uh, bring in the second covenant, which was the, uh, like the first. Yeah, read that scripture again when you get a chance, because I, I got a, a lamb back off of the scriptures that you read. <clears throat> the whole thing from the top? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, first Maccabees 141. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. And for that's what Jake is doing right now. That's why you have Jake that, that's in the Islam. There's one Jake I saw he had the Is Islamic. You can see he was a Jake in the face. He had the Islamic uh, the robe on. Then he had one hand behind his back. You know how them Arabic them people out in, in the Middle East, they walk with their... He even walked like an Arab, man. And I'm, You know, we observe things, man. You know? Then you got Jake that's all into uh, the back to Africa stuff, the comedic stuff. And then they try to talk it. They'll get like a hermetic name or a comedic name. So that, that happened back then and it's happening right now. And we can see through all of that, man. Yeah, like earlier we read all those uh, Greek names, you know, salute. And they were, comfortable, they were comfortable with the names. Right. And Paul didn't say, look, you got to change your name to Hebrew. He, he, he allowed them to keep them names. Yeah. He, because they had to slowly get back into it, man. Con. They just couldn't become an Israelite overnight. Overnight, yeah. Get circumcised, wear the garbs, throw this out, mm -hmm. tear your house down, build up a Hebrew Israelite house. It, it that's that's why Paul made the statement in uh, uh second, I mean in um uh, uh Acts 15. No, 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 Colossians 2 and 16. Con, con, about con. the he said, Don't worry about the Sabbath, don't worry about high holy days, yep. don't let any other Jew um Mess you know, up. because that's a yep. that's a shadow of things that come, con, meaning con. You gotta, you gotta, uh, eat or you gotta consume Yahweh Shai, which is the book, right? Because this is this is this is a piecemeal, man. Kind. You know, you get it little, but you don't get it overnight. A guy that's that that come, says he got a ninety five percent truth, <laughs> talking about he I already had ninety five percent truth. I guarantee you, the man gonna fall off, man. That's right. Because he didn't got it. He did. Uh, well, give me the scripture on the honey. Kind. Taking too much honey. All right. You see, see how these scriptures come, how, how you put them together and you got to be, and it takes years to be able to, to, um, you know, deal with precept upon precept, line upon, in order for you to go from precept upon precept, you have to read, you have to have read this book and be, and, and you have to, you have to, uh, be in this thing. You have to be dedicated to this thing. It says, uh, and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbaths and the festival days, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols, and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts. And that's what Jake is doing. And you tell him, look, you know, you're not supposed to be eating pig. Look, you can eat pig if you cook, if you cook it right. You know, Jake, them, all them churches, they eat pork, they eat catfish. And then when they teach their sermons, they teach about Israel. The children of Israelites, Israel, Israel did this, and King David did that. Like they're not the Israelites because they don't know that they're the Israelites. And like I said, this this word, the Most High didn't open every Israelite's eye or eyes to this truth. He opened a certain few, and then he opened some of their eyes, and some of them he still got them blind. They might know that they're Israelites. But they don't know that the Messiah came. Or they might be teaching that Cornelius is an Edomite. Or, or whatever they're teaching. But anyway, this is the lamb back off of the scripture that you just read. It says, um, Isaiah 65 and 1. It says, I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, behold, behold me, behold me unto a nation, Israel, that was not called by my name. Because what are you being called? by the, the Jews, you're being called Israelites. That's the whole mystery of the Gentiles. It says, I have spread my hands all day unto a rebellious people, Israelites, which walk in a way that is not good. Islam, a comedic, uh, help me out, a Jehovah Witness, Baptist. Yeah, Methodist. Methodist. 
Seven Day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses, after their own thoughts, because they think this way and they think that way. Right. Some are atheists, you know. Yep. Buddhists. Some are Buddhists. Some are of the benign faith. Yeah. Benign. Our people are all messed up, man. Yeah. 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 yeah Hinduism, Hari Krishna. Yeah. Do what thou wilt. Do do what thou as thou wilt. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. And how did the most I do that? He did it to us. We're the ones that's coming out, going out there, trying to wake, wake you up. But some are appointed to sleep even until the missiles come. And that's another thing, man. The scriptures speak about the end of the world, which the Alpha and, um, uh, Alpha and Omega ministries don't speak about. They don't deal with the end of the world. Don't. They don't deal with prophecies. It says, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. See, back then we used to argue with people for hours. We don't argue no more. If we see that you can't get it, we'll say, excuse me, sir, can you just walk down the street? But I want to stay here. It's a freak. I said, okay, you can stay. You can stay here, sir. But you're not going to get it. And a lot of times I said, look, man, this ain't for you. Came straight out and said, this ain't for you, man. It says, three, a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face. So ultimately, what is the most I going to do to our people that haven't woken up? He's going to destroy them in a, in a terrific fashion. It says, a, 50, uh, Isaiah 5, uh, 65, verse 3, a people... Israel that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice sacrifice in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves, meaning among the dead, and lodge in, and they actually used to do that. They used to actually used to go out, that's called the Druids, all right, the men of the oak. They used to act, they, they got that from Israel, man. They used to go out secretly and they used to worship their gods out there. And they used to eat uh, swine flesh and the flesh of uh, 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 mice and rats. They used to do it secretly. And then they come back and then they'll worship. And this is when they knew that they were Israelites. It says, a people that provoke me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice in gardens, and, bur and the reason why they went out there into the woods, because it was sec secretive, man. And burneth incense upon altars of bricks, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments. The modern monuments are these churches, these mosques, which eat swine flesh. And that goes to you uh, Christian denominations, you Baptists, you Methodists and broth of abominable things uh, is in their vessels, which say, stand, sorry, let me pull it down, which say, stand by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. That's, that's them holy rollers. They wear all white, them old black women. And if the most I ain't dealing with them at all, all right, which say, stand Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day long. It says, sick verse, behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will re recompense. I'm going to pay you back. Even re recompense unto their bosoms. The most I'm going to bring death to these people. Anyway, um, that's all I'm going to read on that. Uh, this, is the book, this is the book of 2 Kings 17 and uh, 9. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not good, that were not right against the Lord, their power. And they built them high places in all their cities from the tower of the watchmen unto the fenced cities. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. Yep, the growth of those churches. Yep, and they did this thing secretly. 
See, now they're doing it out in the open because they, they have no clue what that represented. But back then, they were going secretly into the woods, uh, under groves, you know, and, and worshiping these idols of the other nations. And there, that's why when, uh, um, that's why when, um, when, um, uh, what's his name, Jeroboam set up those idols, the calves, they, they freely worshiped it because they were already doing it anyway behind closed doors, so to speak. It says, and there they burnt incense in all the high places as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away before them and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. For they served idols where, excuse me, whereof the Lord had said unto them, you shall not do this thing. Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets. But wait a minute, I'm, I'm not, is not Judah an Israelite? So you would you would tell me that this is talking about two different nations, like when it says it says in the scriptures when it speak in the in the New Testament when it speaks about Israelites, you know it's speaking about the Jews, you know. Yeah, when it mentions Israel, it's talking about the northern tribes, ah. the north uh, the northern kingdom. Yeah. Because you had the kingdom of uh, Israel, the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and you had the northern kingdom, which yeah. are the northern tribes. Ah. You know, it says yet the Lord testified against Israel and against judah by all the prophets and by all the seers saying turn you from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which i commanded your fathers and which i sent to you by my servants the prophets notwithstanding they would not hear but hardened their necks like to the neck of their fathers that did not believe in the lord their power and they rejected his statutes and his covenants and his covenant and and he that he made with them with their fathers and uh and his testimonies which he testified against them and they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom the lord had charged them that they should not do like them and they left all the commandments of the lord their power and made them molten images and two calves and made a grove and worshiped all the hosts of heaven and served Baal. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire uh, uh, and use divination, use divinations and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. And scriptures like this is the reason why the Jews in Jerusalem did not accept any of those Israelites that were casted out back then. You know, and that was that middle wall of partition, you know, where, where the Lord had to break down to be able to bring bring them back together. Yeah, which that's broken down through Yahweh Shai. That's right. Because Yahweh Shai came to gather all the 12 tribes that's right. of uh, Israel. Yeah, he destroyed that animosity. You know, and that you know, and that and that that uh, tension that they had with each other. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, "Other sheep I have that are not of this fold." John. What fold was he, he talking about? That's the right. The fold of uh, Judah. Yeah. But the other sheep were the other tribes, and then we found out that, you know, as of late, because at the main school they didn't teach that. You had a scattering of the the tribes still left in Israel, even after the Assyrian captivity, because the the apostle James wrote James. I'm I'm here in James one and one. James, the servant of the Heavenly Father and of the Lord Yahweh Shai, to the 12 tribes. So he directed his letter to who? The 12 tribes, which are scattered abroad, greeted. Abroad meaning outside of Jerusalem. Outside of, uh, yeah, outside of Jerusalem, which is where predominantly the Jews hang out. Jews being Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So you had a scattering of them, of, uh, and some of, among them, the northern tribes, that is, some of some of them were part of the elect, the elect of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai sheep. That the statement that he made, other sheep I have that are not of this fold. You know, so it all goes back to Israel, Mr. White. Mr. Uh, First Maccabee 148, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. To the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. And that's going to be ha it's going to happen now, too. You know, 
with the chip and that's why they have all this infiltration going on because they're trying to change the doctrine the way they did on the comfy's regime it says in the self same manner and under bubble eye blackfish regime and i'm not going to call you i'm gonna call you bubble eye blackfish man you don't merit uh, a hebrew name in the self same manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people commanding the cities of judah to sacrifice city by city then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit everyone that forsook the law and so they committed evils in the land verse 53 and drove the israelites into secret places even wheresoever they could flee for succor for help so those are the ones that wanted to keep the law that didn't want to break the the, the customs so they would run and they would hide but what would happen was these heathens would find them and then they will fight them like the faggots that they are you know they would fight them on the sabbath day when they knew that they wouldn't defend themselves so that they it'll be an easy sling you know that's why judas maccabees his father you know Math mattathias and the rest of the maccabees they said look man we don't have to fight you know we can't just lay down like our brethren did on the sabbath day so they will fight whatever day it was you know and uh, maccabees was a high priest. he wasn't just a priest he was a high priest when you go into the history it says they were levites but they were high priests all right it says a uh, chap uh second ezra chapter 2 verse 5 it says as for me oh father i call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children that's talking about israel which would not keep my covenant and that's what you that's what we as a people did and that's why we're in the condition that we're in today hence deuteronomy the 28th chapter it says six verse that thou bring them to confusion that's why you've into uh some of you are into islam some of you are into uh comedic some of you are into the different church systems some of you are atheists you you're just all bugged out with all different type of philosophies and and ways of life it says um okay six verse again it says that thou bring them to confusion that's why when we speak to Jake out there and we tell him that the Israelite, they buck up. Oh, I'm not an Israelite. The Israelites have done away with. Just like um, uh, James White of the uh, Alpha and Omega, they said that the uh, Edomites were done away with. Well, do a video showing at what time period and where did that take place where the, where the Edomites were done away with. I'm, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. All right? They ain't. They ain't. All right, that's why they ain't gonna make a video of it. It says, and their mother, I'm sorry, six verse again, that thou bring them to confusion. And Jake is in a confused state right now, and their mother to a spoil that there may be no offspring of them, meaning their offspring is gonna be cursed. Let them be scattered. So Israel scattered literally throughout the whole planet Earth let them be scattered abroad among the heathen so a lot of you married among the heathen so you got israelites that look like vietnamese you got israelites that look like edomites and you got israelites that are pasty looking edomites white people you got edomites i mean you got israelites that are super dark look like uh uh real africans man look like sudanese you got tall black hermetic looking <laughs> israelites that you think they're the hamites man but they're israelites israel comes in all shapes and sizes man and they look like everybody under the sun it says uh it says seven again it says let them be scattered and they were scattered the verse up above that in the sixth verse it says that thou bring them to confusion they were confused seventh verse again let them be scattered abroad among the heathen that's why you look like the heathen and and do the, the practices of the heathen hence when you go to the new testament when it speaks about the gentiles it's talking about israelites that grew up thinking that they were heathen man or gentiles it says it says let their names be put out 
of the earth. Because at one time, man, all we knew, we was African-American or black or former slave or whatever the hell or whatever name you came up with. Let me read that again. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen, the other nations. Let their names be, what, what, is, what is their names? Uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. And then you got the different names. You know, Tahar, uh, Arayim Lav, uh, help me out, uh, N N Gabar, Netanyahu, uh, Dawayad. But then your, your tri tribal names were taken away with. You know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Gad, Manasseh. Your nation, Israel. It said, let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. And that happened. Let their names be put out of the earth and that happened for they have despised my covenant and then that happened and, and that ultimately happened over here in america because when you go into the history of israel going into captivity under these different nations they knew who they were when they went into captivity and when they were delivered from that captivity they were delivered knowing that they were israelites this is the only captivity where we don't know who we are and we had to, you know, come upon the name of Israel. This is the book of Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what happened. And now you still have the name Israel in remembrance, but who you who do you give credit to? Those gutter rats over there in the land of Israel, or other the Yemenite Jew and and them other so-called people that call themselves Israelites. But you don't when you look upon the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians here in America, you don't equate them with being the Israelites. And that's exactly what they did. And that's why the majority of these people out here are are blinded. And now now through the spirit, the the word is going out who the real Israelites are. And, and 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 it's going out on a on a large scale, on a massive scale, and you devils are getting nervous. That's why you're trying to sit there and do your alpha and omega ministries and all this other stuff, you know, to try to combat uh, 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 the truth. But you can't fight against the Lord. Your arms are too short to box with God, man. What's wrong? What's your problem? You know. So now, uh, now that 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 happened, uh, uh, there was a um uh. uh situation that, that that took place here in america to where israel started waking back up you know and this is the uh, I'm, I'm gonna jump to is isaiah sorry just bear with me one second this is the book of isaiah uh chapter 44 uh just give me one second here isaiah chapter 44 and i'm gonna start at uh You know what? I started one and read down quick. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen, thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring, and they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses because at one time this land was barren and dry of faith you know but then one, once the spirit of the lord jumped on on uh excuse me a man by the name of abba bivens he started waking the the, the uh, children of israel back up to their nationality so that's that's began that water that water started watering the different plant plants that the most High had planted before the world began and then once that water touched those specific plants, they started waking up. It says, one shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. So that's that's when we, we started waking back up. You know, so like as the apostle Taha said, you know, you know, you they took those names away from you. Now you're getting those names back. You know, that's where you got brothers that got names, you know, uh, the, the different names, you know, Ab Abba Ya Allah and, you know, and, um, and you know, they call themselves Samuel or Sham Ya Allah, you know, or the different uh, Hebrew names, Sham Shawan and uh, Dawud Dad and all those different uh, Hebrew names. Yeah, you mentioned about the water. Um, 
this is the book of uh, John 4 and 14. It says, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So that's that living water. So that's the same water that you read about in Isaiah 44 and 4. It says, well, beginning at the third verse, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. That's that water that Yahweh Shai yep. said he would give. That living water. That living water, which is this word. God. And floods like bubble eye crackhead. Yeah. You know, he's he's uh you know, he's uh baptizing people in dirty water and he thinks that's fulfilling the will of the heavenly father. That's why James White toyed with him like a cat with a mouse, man. Then he had then Yeah, let me say this. I call I'll say Elder this uh this title. You know, I yeah. I'm trying to be a a, a nicer I mean, guy. Nicer you know, guy I'm nicer, yeah. but I'm if I'm mad, I'm gonna go revert back to the name I'm used to calling you. But you know what, man? You need to fall the hell back. Yeah, just step Because the man. most high is not dealing with you, with man. You. Yeah. Okay. Ain't no you, you bring me some goddamn evidence that that, that there's some some a name a, a higher by a shum You Shai, made that man. up, my man. Yeah, yeah. And then all the stuff that you scriptures that you that you spew out, you got that from Ariana, man. Right. Like you some deep guy, man. And Nate, we don't even hardly talk about him. He's yeah, basically an afterthought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's last year's news and shit, man. God. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. Y'all got it. Um, Isaiah 44 and 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses. And the reason why I read that, and well, Elder Apostle around, I've read it first, then I read it is to back up what Yahweh Shai said back in John, the fourth chapter, the 14th verse, when he spoke about the living water. He said it shall be in him. Notice he said him. And he was talking to a woman, by the way, which was not an Israelite. She was of another nation, a heathen, if you will. And shall give him, uh, John 4 and 14, the, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. What is this water? This, this word. This knowledge, this understanding, which is springing up, you know. I got a scripture here. This is Jeremiah uh, 29, verse 13. It says, and ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. So you got to search for the most high with all your heart. 14, and I will be found of you, saith Yahweh. And I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith Yahweh. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Now, you got a bunch of Israelites, I don't know, maybe 10,000 of them that live in Israel. That's not the blessing. That's not the blessing. The blessing is when the Most High delivers us from all these different nations and brings us back to the land of Israel. First thing he got to do is destroy destroy the land of Israel with the maggot rats up in there, man. And then it's going to have to be rebuilt. Then you got these Edomites talking about the fulfillment. 1948 was the fulfillment of... Uh, of uh, Israel. Hey, the only way that could be the fulfillment of the Most High is if the Most High is one of the Rothschilds. Because that was a Rothschild's plan, plan, man. That was a Roth, Rothschild production. Them people over there ain't no the real Jews. They're going to have to be, that place is going to be destroyed by the Most High. And then the true children of Israel and them people over there, them Israelites over there living right over there now, they better get, a, get the hell up out of there, man. Because if Moses ain't coming to deliver him, he's going to burn them up right along with them devils. Right. Got a precept for you. Back Go here. ahead. Well, let me finish this. Yeah. 14 again. And I will be found of you, say of Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, say of Yahweh, and I will bring 
you again into the place, hence I cause you to be carried away captive, which is the land of Israel, right? It says, because ye have said, Yahweh have raised us up prophets in Babylon. So we're in Babylon all over again. Do you understand that, James White? That there's, when you read Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, and Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, where it speaks about Isaiah, the 47th chapter, where it speaks about Babylon, you know there's two Babylons? You have the ancient Babylon. One of the rulers, the kings, was Nebuchadnezzar. And then you had uh, uh, the daughter of Babylon, which is, which is this place right here. But you don't know that because you're not prof you're not a you don't you guys don't deal with prophecy. We're prophets of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, El Apostle made a, a statement about uh, Israel has to be built up first. The, uh, the Lord has to get rid of the maggot rats. I think you you call them. Yeah, maggot rats. Yeah. <laughs> well. Hey, this is the book of Isaiah 61 and 4. It says, And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. Because right now, Israel is really in a state of desolation. It's really been that way since 70 AD. Even though they rebuilt it, you got Rothschild Boulevard. You got, uh, what else you got there? You got Pink City. You got yeah. Tel Aviv. And all. Lord is going to destroy all of that. Rothschild Boulevard. What an insult. You know? And the Rothschilds were the main ones behind our slavery, you know, financing the ships. Even before the Rothschilds came on the scene, you had, um, you had, uh, uh, you had the uh, Oppenheimers, which the Rothschilds, they worked for the Oppenheimer family. And they were heavy in uh, financing the slave trade, so-called Jews. So Jews. Now they have the nerve to take over our land and build a Rothschild Boulevard. That's a, that's a supreme insult. But it's all right because the Lord's going to destroy it, just like the other apostle said and just like the, the prophecy is saying that I'm reading here. And they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Because pursuant to Ezekiel, what is it, Ezekiel 38 and 39, the land of Israel is going to be, going to be cleansed by those nuclear missiles Ezekiel 39, 38 and 39, which again is prophecy. How come Mr. James White don't talk about that? How come you don't talk about the fact that the land of Israel is going to be uh, uh, cleansed by nuclear missiles, by fire? Nuclear missiles in the chariots. You don't talk about that because you're not a prophet, man. Talking to you, Mr. White, Breaking Bad, you're not a prophet. And your sidekick, he's not a prophet either. What's his name? Vocab Malone? You guys, yeah, you're a little, they're, you're two, two little guppies in a fishbowl, man. And this is way above your pay grade, all right? <laughs> go go ahead, brother. You got it. Uh, okay. yeah. Come on in Look. now. I mean, come on in now. Got to be quick around here, man. <laughs> this is um, Baruch, the second chapter, and... <laughs> The second chapter in the 31st verse, it says, I mean, you know, I can go up above that. Okay. All right, yes. Uh, Baruch, the second chapter in the uh, 30th verse on down, it says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, and we're in our last captivities, they shall remember themselves. And shall know that I am Yahweh, their, their, their God, their power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. Talking about here. And think upon my name. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which they are Israelites, including the Gentiles in the New Testament, would sin before the Most High. 34, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, 
I'm thinking right Galatians the third chapter where it speaks about the Jew for those history and you don't know how to put bring this book together you're going to be lost that's why you got guys to this day that are teaching they come across the word Gentile in the New Testament all of a sudden it's talking about some someone outside of the nation of Israel those Gentiles like Romans the 11th chapter Anywhere it says Gentiles, is talking about Israelites. When it speaks about uh, Cornelius in Acts, uh, uh, the, the 10th chapter, the 11th chapter, it's talking about Israelites. Cornelius was the Israelite. Yeah, I, made, I made a statement about the land of Israel always being waste. Well, here's the prophecy. <laughs> Again, prophecy. Ezekiel, and one of the nations, one of the countries or corporations that's going to destroy Israel Yeah, one of the corporations that's going to destroy Israel is Russia. You know? It's off? Okay. Well, you brothers on the comment board, let us know if we're still streaming live. You know, every now and then, just let us know. You're hearing it. You're seeing us. Ezekiel 38 and 8, it says, After many days thou shalt be visited in the latter, day, in the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and has gathered out many people against the mountains of Israel, is the point, which have always been waste. So even though you built up Rothschild Boulevard, you built up Tel Aviv, Pink City and all that, in the eyes of the Lord, that land has always been waste ever since the tabernacles were destroyed after 70 AD. That land has always been waste. All right. I believe they had something called the kibbutz, where they actually brought in plants and trees and right because that land is cursed because you don't belong there. You so-called Jews that call yourself a uh, Jewish, you don't belong there. That's not your land. That's why. That's one of the reasons why that land is cursed. Now, when we come back there, it tells us in the prophecy that the the trees are going to bud and flourish, the grass is going to flourish. You know, the land is going to become like the Garden of Eden. Right, like it says in the prophecy. So again, that's something Mr. White from Alpha and Omega uh, Ministries will not teach because he, he doesn't know about prophecy. He's not a prophet. All right? You got it, brother. Yeah, and uh, once once the real Israelites get into their land, there's not going to be any more war, any more wars around the world. You know, that's another way you know that those uh, gutter rats are not are not Israelites. You know, they, they, they claim to be Israelites uh, through a conversion that, that happened during the Khazarian Empire, but that don't make, a, a convert doesn't, uh, when you convert to a religion, that does not make you that the nation of those, of, of those people. You know, because a religion, you know, is, is not how you uh, um, become a, a nationality. The nationality is based off of your fathers, who your fathers are. Now, this is going back to uh, the Israelite foreigner topic. Um, this is in is uh, Ezekiel 37 and 18. It says, And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Well, thou not, I'm sorry, I'll read up above that verse 15. I, is, is Ezekiel 37, 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for their children, for the children of Israel, his companions, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Why? Because, you know, you had a, a separation. When you go back into the history, there was a separation between the, the nation of Israel. They became two nations uh, separated one from the other. You know, that's where you had the, the southern kingdom, which consisted of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And you had the northern kingdom, which consisted of Ephraim and the other nine tribes. You know? It says, and join them. And so the Lord said, you know, when you go out there to prophesy, you're going to take two sticks and you're going to write on one of them for Judah and for his companions. And on the other one, you're going to write it on it for Ephraim and his companions. And what you're going to do is you're going to join that stick together as one and join them one to another into one stick and, and they shall be become one in thine hand. That's why you always see the main sign that we have out uh, when we go out to speak on the streets is the 12 tribe sign because that's a commandment 
from the Lord uh, to us to put that sign up so that people can watch, walk by and read it. Because you've had different people walk by and read it. They read the sign, and then when they don't see their name on it, or they'll see their name on it and say, that's me. Or if they don't see their name on it, they'll say, well, what about me? Why am I, why am I not on that sign? You know, and that opens up a, a, a discussion. It says, and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. Why? Because that's the Lord closing up those breaches, building up the nation of Israel. Breaking down that middle wall of parti partition, uh, getting rid of the enmity and the animosity between the two kingdoms and the two nations and bringing them back into one fold. See, it says, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And that's what we have them out in, in the camps when we go out to speak and say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land and that's what's happening right now that's the gathering that the lord is grabbing all the israelites from that he wants of the elect first from from around the world by those sticks they they actually see the sticks and the lord is gathering them because we're at the point now where the lord is going to set back up the kingdom of of the nation of Israel, which is the kingdom of his son Yahweh Shai, and we being joint heirs with him. It says, And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, which is uh King Masha, which is uh King David, and they shall be no more two nations. See, so that's the point. There shall be no more two nations, because there was a point where they were separated into two different nations. But the Lord said they're not going to be two nations anymore. That was the difference between the Jew and the Greek, you know, or the Jew and the Gentile. And that's why I said there's no difference between the Jew and the Gentile. Why? Because they're all Israelites. All 12 tribes. And they... Don't get it twisted. Those, a lot of those Israelites that Paul went to, they were, they were Judites. Judites and Benjamin, Benjaminites. Okay? So, because they said this guy, bubble eyes, as you call him, Ricard, whatever, Elder Ricard, he said that that's talking about the northern tribe. It ain't talking about the northern tribes. Although you had the, of some of the north, uh, some of the northern tribes over there, it was mainly talking about them Judites after the uh, so called northern kingdom left. So, you, you understand it, but you don't fully understand it. That's why you still teach that Cornelius is an Israelite. And you still don't understand the breakdown of Romans, the 11th chapter. Those were Israelites. Yeah, to back up Elder Apostle Tar, you had the Hellenized Jews. They were what? Greek-speaking Jews. Yep. They were Jews that spoke Greek, Judah, Benjamin, Yeah, Levi. but that has nothing to do with those Gentiles. Yeah. You had Israelites that were scattered abroad that knew that they were Jews. When you go to Acts, it's the second chapter. Mm -hmm. um, they, for, for the three, three days out of the year, three times out of the year, those were Israelites that knew that they were Israelites that were living in those places that came. They said, okay, we're Israelites. But then you had other Israelites that didn't know. That's right. So they stumbled upon it. They ran into one of the disciples or heard that the disciples spoke. And then they said, oh, we're part of them. That's what it's talking about. Like the centurion. The centurion whose uh, servant was sick. That was an Israelite, man. Yeah, yeah. He's an Israelite, yep. No, it said he was a centurion. That means he's a cracker. Are you out your mind? Well, are, you, are, you, are you doing LSD? Yeah, Cornelius was a... Mr. Centurion. Spicoli, are you doing drugs? Yeah, right. Cornelius was a centurion. A centurion was basically a, a, a position. Yeah, position over... And Jake, and Jake had, that, had, had those, those positions, positions, just like Jake in this society, man. Yeah. Yeah, Jake, that, 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 that are lieutenants, colonels, sergeants. You got you got Jakes that are mayors, senators. Hell, look, the president is not an Edomite. Yeah, that's right. It says, uh, 
Going back, going back to well, verse, it's a mystery. verse 22. And I, and, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountain of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, which is King David, you know, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. You know, so that's happening right now. You know, all the tribes are being brought back together. That's why he speaks about in the book of Amos about the tabernacles of David that are fallen, that the Lord has to build up. But prior to him building them up, he has to gather them from among these nations. You know? Tabernacles of David were all the tribes. That's right. It wasn't, just, it wasn't just Judah. Right. When David sits on the uh, throne, that means all the tribes are going to be back together. That's right. That's what that means. That's Did right. that happen? No. Is it? Is it getting ready to happen? Yes. All right. I'm going to read this. You got any closing thoughts? Because I'm going to get ready to close. All right. I'm going to just read this. All right. I noticed yesterday, man, <laughs> um, it was a live show. Then after that live show, then there was another live show. I said, and I can't watch all of them. I watch a few, you know, because I'm doing things. Right. But this, but this is, but this is uh, scripture. That's scripture. Anyway, um, it says this. I'm going to close on this. It says uh, Psalms 19 and 2. It says, day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. And that's what's happening. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. You're going to see brothers that, that's going to make uh, do live shows. They're doing videos, but they're going to do live shows in their, in their perspective language. All right? Oh wow, that's 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 something else, man. Say go ahead, say again. Yeah, the brothers in LA, uh, the, the LA camp, the ancient days, uh, Espanol, Spanish. They do a live show in Spanish. Check that out. Let me do it again. Psalms nineteen verse two. It says, "Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Therefore, their line is going out throughout through all the earth, thanks to the YouTube." And their words to the end of the world, in them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. Um, five, which is which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoicing as a strong man to run a race. Because this is a circuit. This is a circuit, man. It goes on. Hey, you can do one show on YouTube, right? You can do a live show or a pre-recorded show. And, and millions of people can watch it. Hell, billions of anybody that has a has a, com, a computer or a, a laptop or whatever, they can watch the show. So, I mean, th this is it, man. This is it. See, Esau, man, they, you should have double think this, man. When you let this thing out, man, you should have made a law saying no black people can deal with the YouTube, man. Because everybody's using it as their, as their uh, tele television stations, right? Yeah. Like that, people are actually doing regular shows, man. Huh? Yeah. Doing production and all that regular shows on, but the, but the way this works is, you get hey, a show can just pop up. You know, I got a couple of shows that I did that I got to put up. So there's the shows are already there, man. They're already on the show, getting ready to be put up. That's right. Yeah, like in slavery, they had a rule. Jake couldn't read the Bible. That's right. That's right. So, like you said, <laughs> this up. this thing, man. That you can't look. You there's nothing that you can do not do can't about do this nothing. thing, man. And we're too sharp for you, man. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna say uh, Shalom. We're gonna close this thing. Shalom. Stay strong. Today Don't get like... weak, man. That's right. Don't lighten up. Tighten up. And then, and we in and we're in a a, a house cleaning. And um, I got a show that I'm going to upload. It's going to be called a GMS Learn How to Be an Asshole. All right? And with that, I'm going to say a shalom.